What's going on? This is Julian with The Game Fanatics, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be making a video game themed cocktail based on Final Fantasy VII, one of my all-time favorite games. And with the with the new game coming out, or we actually, we don't know when it's coming out, but we will see more at E3. Uh, I just wanted to do something around that. Let me make sure my other camera is recording. We are good to go. Uh, for this, you will need a few things. Um, a lime, and I'll explain why later. Blue Curacao, the rum of your choice. Um, well, I'm using rum, it's more of a summery drink, but uh, I'm using Pineapple Bacardi, but you can swap this out with any kind of clear colored liquor. I am using Orange Bitters, Ginger Ale, you can also use Club Soda or Tonic, and Gushers. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, you want to kind of roll out that lime so the juice comes out easier. Cut that in half. Oh, you're also gonna need ice. Actually, let me put that on a coaster so I don't get in trouble. Um, you don't have to buy one of these, but I have one. It's a citrus extractor. So go ahead and squeeze that into your shaker tin. Boom. Um, now, go with our liquor of choice. We're gonna go with about, let's see, this is 45, I think it's about two ounces of the rum. Eh, we can, oh, oh, there we go. Uh, okay, I should have thought that out. Okay, cool, there we go. And we'll pour a little bit more in there. Just to wake it up a little bit, we'll do some orange bitters. Uh, everything kind of in here is um, kind of citrus based outside of pineapple, which does still have some acidity in it. Now we're gonna do the blue curacao. You could use regular curacao, but for what I'm using this for, we will need blue, the color blue. Uh, and all this is really is a uh, orange flavored liqueur so we're going to do about uh, a little bit less than an ounce and actually while we're here i'll go ahead and explain some of the reasons i use these so this i just like this rum but blue if you're familiar with the game uh the final fantasy 7 game you will know that the Mako energy that kind of surrounds the, uh, the different places in that world is like a light colored blue. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shake that and try to get it away from the mic. Pop that open. Go ahead and put that back on the coaster. So I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to put too much I still have to leave room for a few more ingredients. So I go ahead and drop that there. Now we're gonna add the ginger ale, which will lighten this up just a little bit. And for the finishing touch, we have gushers. Now, again, if you are familiar with the game, you had things called materia. And that was just your different ways of, hmm, sorry, that's good. Almost dropped one. Of your, kind of like getting your magic abilities in that game. So these represent the material. Um, next time I may do this with a little bit more ice uh, or put the ice in there first so that the gushers stay in place. And you know what? We're gonna put the whole bag in there. And there you have it. The Final Fantasy VII cocktail. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a taste. I'm pretty confident it's gonna be good. Oh, that is delicious. Um, a few things, if you don't wanna use ginger ale, if you don't like the taste of ginger ale or ginger beer, don't use ginger beer, because ginger beer is a little bit darker. 
uh, you can use a lemon lime soda. Um, I use the lime to kind of cut out the sweetness of the uh, pineapple rum and the blue curacao. Oranges just gave me some more orange notes, added a little bit of character to the drink. And I told you about the gushers. So uh, that is it. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, if you like this type of content, just let us know and uh, I'll be in the lab making more cocktails like this. See you next time.